Hey guys, welcome to the channel. Aaron here, coming at you with another update. Uh, it's been a while since I've made a video. Uh, the weather here's been pretty crappy in Virginia. Uh, it's been in the negatives. I think uh, it actually reached down to like negative 15 degrees at one point. Um, so the weather's been freezing, it's been snowing, icing, and today it's actually warmed up enough into the 30s, so it's actually raining a little bit. <clears throat> So I really hadn't felt like making any videos till today. Um, however, I do have a update for you. <clears throat> uh, as you know, in my last video, I did sell the truck, the Duramax. And the next pickup I just purchased is that. Yes, I know, it's oval badged. It's a Ford. <laughs> Not exactly what I was looking for, but <clears throat> uh, it was a really good deal on the truck. And these are pretty good trucks. It's a six liter power stroke. Um, <clears throat> that's not so good in stock form or stock form when you try to program it. Uh, they do have some EGR delete, or I'm sorry, EGR cooler problems, um, as well as head gasket failures. So that's very common, more common in the early years. This is a 2007 uh, four wheel drive. It's got some little moto metal wheels and they plasti dipped them. And I don't know why because they're black already so I've got to peel that up peel that off on all the wheels I really don't know why they plasti dip them but the whole wheels are black <clears throat> um, F-250 needs you know a little marker light and little little bits here and there um, overall the trucks in fairly good shape it came from North Carolina so there's really no rust on it it's got a four inch MBRP exhaust from the turbo back uh, paint matched mirrors, grill, and bumper. Um, and it is chilly out here. Um, but yeah, that is, that's the truck, guys. <laughs> I actually I like it fairly well. I hate to say it, but I, you know, it is a Ford and I'm a Chevy and Dodge guy, but you know how it goes. Good deal on the truck, 143,000 miles on it. Um, it's the XLT. I like the black interior seat. Uh, needs some work. Probably I'll just do a seat cover on it because what the heck, it's a work truck. Who knows long, how long I'll hang on to it anyways. Um, extended cab, four door. As you can see here, actually, I uh, got me an EGR Delete kit. Um, I bought me some Shout Auto Cleaner. That way I can detail the interior. It's been just too friggin' cold to try to do anything uh, with it other than jump in it and drive it. Um, Try to make this quick for y'all. See what's under the hood here. Alright. There we are. Power Stroke V8, 6 liter. Uh, really stock, except for the SMB cold air intake and the 4 inch exhaust. Uh, like I said, I'm going to do the EGR Delete. Um, I will do the head studs, head gaskets, and all that. Uh, debating on doing it myself it's pretty tight in there and it's kind of a little rough to get to but i don't want to pay nobody to do it so i'll probably end up doing it um so that'll be to come also um I, if you watch greg a he actually just did a video about this stuff uh, just the other day as well but that is the exact same stuff i put in my trucks as well any diesel i get um put that in it uh, it does seem to help the fuel not gel and just like he mentioned you can get it at any location pretty much Walmart advanced auto you name it and you can get it there more more than likely okay just change the oil oil filters um, and the fuel filters in this truck I use Shell Rotella T6 synthetic and this stuff actually helps the truck start quicker than the conventional Muttercraft oil um, before it, it would it would crank a little bit slower and with that stuff it actually cranked up very well okay <clears throat> I'll cycle it here for you and let you hear it hopefully she'll start a little cold natured but that's all right It 
this should kick in here shortly, I think. Uh, it might have to idle for a minute or so, but. The engines on these trucks are a little loud, not quite as loud as the 7.3 power strokes. Uh, but compared to like the Duramax and stuff, they are quite a bit louder, the engine themselves are. Uh, underneath, you can see that it actually, it looks like a little rust, but in North Carolina where they live, it's uh, red clay down there. So that's actually what's on this truck is the red clay. There she is, guys. I guess the, uh, I just drove it a little while ago. So actually the, the heat's still on uh, a little bit. So that high idle probably won't kick on. But that's the truck guys it's starting to rain and i'm freezing out here because i wore flip-flops uh there's the evo she's been doing a run like a trooper out here in this weather you can see i've had it out in the snow and everything i gotta give it a good bath but the little fender catchers there were doing exactly what they were supposed to mud flaps mud guards but you know it's all-wheel drive car they're a rally style car from production so there's no reason to let it not see some snow every now and then just make sure you keep them clean if they salt the roads in your areas like they do here right. but guys that's the update uh hopefully we can do some more updates if this weather will cooperate we'll do right along in the truck um camaro's still stuck here in the garage i've got a garage light out so um, obviously can't see real well in here but hey it is what it is um so long tube headers in the plan for this this winter uh as well as the truck uh i don't know if the head studs and everything will get done this winter or not um i kind of want to drive it more so drive it than the evo in the winter but if i gotta you know if i'm having issues now which I am having a little bit of issue with coolant coming out of the degas bottle, um, which would be one of two things: head head gaskets or EGR um, failure, the cooler. So if that's the case, I got the EGR to get now. I'll just go ahead and do that. And since I'll be in the engine that far, uh, I might as well just rip off the rest of it and do the head gaskets and head studs and new oil cooler and all that. So. Uh, ordered me a SCT tuner just so I can kind of look at some of the temperatures on the truck and see kind of what it's doing to s decide whether it's the head gaskets or the EGR cooler um, <clears throat> but regardless all that's going to get done on that truck because um, if you know anything about a 6.0 you got to bulletproof them for them to be reliable trucks uh, otherwise yeah there's the nasty weather you got snow hanging out um, melted from the rain but it is still chilly out uh, i think it's like 36 degrees so all right youtube wanted to give you another quick little update i forgot to mention um a new addition to the family say hey hey girl there you go she's great dane um athena is her name brindle color we've got her ears cropped um actually we bought them bought her like that uh they're still flopped down right now because i was giving them a break normally they they're taped and they're standing straight up but one of her ears was looking a little uh i don't know not really infected but just irritated maybe from the tape and the, everything on it so i left it off uh talked to the vet they said leave it off for a few days just to see how that goes and <clears throat> then we will tape them back up but her ears this girl, you're going crazy. She is a big, big puppy dog. Uh, around 12 weeks. And she's like 35 pounds already. She's a big girl, aren't she? Um, she's part Euro Great Dane, so she should get a little thicker and kind of more mass to her in comparison to the, um, I guess, traditional American Great Danes or whatever. But <clears throat> that's the new addition. So we'll get some more content, won't we, girl? Oh uh, yeah. Well, so thanks for watching. And don't forget to subscribe and like the video.